like in all the crow postures and variations. For the side crow, the most important thing to pay attention to is the positioning of the hands and elbows. We want to position the forearms and elbows in a way that we just have to place the body weight on top without having to shift around too much. For the side crow, I personally like to separate my hands a little bit further. So when we start the side crow, you'll bring the hands to the side next to the body and separate the hands a little bit more. The right hand in this case will not carry too much body weight. So the left hand kind of like goes more toward the center of my body and we want to make sure that the forearm will be perpendicular to the floor. Then you bend the elbow slightly, place the outside of the right leg against the knee. Now I lift my head to find a point on the floor to focus on and all I do is just like shift forward a little bit and then stretch the legs out to the side. Ideally you have both legs resting on top of each other that makes it much easier. So the hand goes down, the other hand out a little bit more, forearm perpendicular to the floor, you'll bend the elbow, lift the head and stretch the legs to the side. Ideally, of course, then you'll practice on the other side as well, just to balance the posture. The next variation I'd like to show you of the side crow is a little twisted. So we'll start this one by sitting on the floor. Again, I'll bring my left hand to the floor and bend the arm a little bit. But this time, the left leg will have to come across the upper arm. Again, you can see my forearm is already perpendicular to the floor. Now the right leg scoops under, and you interlock the legs, place the right hand on the floor, and then what I do is just using the contact point between the leg and the arm as my lever to lift the body up. So I bend forward a little bit, stretch the legs to the side, and there you go.